Hi everybody, Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. Today I want to walk you through the lap book that I made based on Nick the Booksmith series on making these beautiful lap books. I had such a ball doing it. It was such a neat project. I learned so much from it and I had so much fun doing it. I'm going to link her information below. You definitely need to check her out. She has wonderful handmade books that she makes um, and then also fun little things like this, like this series of making this lap book. So let's go through the lap book. So this lap book I made from two other books. So this is one of the covers on the front, one of the covers on the back, which I did cover with some scrapbook paper and distressed a little bit. And then the other book cover is on the inside, which we'll go see in just a minute. Um, lap books are amazing <laughs> little things that have so many nooks and crannies and tucks. I had such a ball making it. So I wanted to add something to the front. And I had seen Nick make one of these for one of her journals one time. So this is just a, a file folder that I folded into like a little pocket there with some nice metal embellishments. This one actually came from um, a filing cabinet at an old electric company and you'll see some of that information, more of that information uh, on the inside there. So this pocket has a little elastic and button latch there. So when you open that up, you can put in a little notebook to keep your notes and different things in there. So that was the whole start of this. And let's open it up. I used a little hinge latch on the outside here to keep the whole thing together. So when you open that up, you can open up your book here. And now you can see the other book cover that I used and this one um, as well, I did, it was just a black cover. So I did use some scrapbook paper on this as well. Um, to give it a little bit more decoration. And so I'm not sure if you can see the whole thing here, but hopefully you can. We're gonna go through one section at a time, but look at all this goodness. There's so much that can be packed into a lap book. It was so much fun to make, but don't do it if you don't have the time, because let me tell you, it takes a while to do. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the first section here on the left. And this section is made from more of the file folder. Um, so that kind of matches the pocket on the front. There's a little double pocket here for some little tuck spots. I think this would make a great little quote journal to keep your quotes in um, or even like a list journal. I think this would be really fun because there's so many um, little places for note cards that look like you could put a list um, of things on here. So I think that would be really fun to do for this lap book and that's what I may do. And I also cut out pieces of a thesaurus with some words throughout there. So this one says cool it. I kind of liked how that said that. And then this coin envelope up here has a little note card put in it um, with some trim on the edge and that definitely helps so that it doesn't get lost down in there because you want to tuck it in nice and tight so that this folds over. And then behind that page is a little or a big tuck spot here for a nice big note card. So I have some cactus, um, a cactus index there with some illustrations, cactus illustrations on there. And then in this next tuck spot, I have, um, it's a one big pocket, but I did put three pieces of ephemera in there. Um, just because they matched, I thought they were fun. If you look at them, if you look at them real closely, you can see it looks like they are using the old cup phones. So the cups on either end with the wire in between. And you can hear here, he's saying, <laughs> when will you be alone, love? And it looks like mom is holding the daughter back there. And then this one, he's using the cup phone with the dog. Can you see the dog? And he's saying, speak more plainly. And the last one, uh, the looks like the man is out with his buddies, maybe playing poker or something. <laughs> and he's saying, can't come, dear. Too busy. And she's on the other end. So I thought these were really fun. And they once again would make great note cards um, to keep your lists on or keep any of those things on. So, so that's there. And then, oh, I forgot to say... I have, um, this is just a quote from a book that I cut out. We shouldn't, we should stand together, shouldn't we? And I thought that was um, sort of uplifting. We all need to be supporting each other. When you flip this page over, 
There is a magnetic envelope here that I've covered with some scrapbook paper and added some labels to. That one says pure lard and I love it. And then when you open it up, it has a note card in there. Once again, that would make a great place to keep a list. If you're a list keeper, whoops, what am I doing here? There we go. So that tucks right in there and that's magnetic. And then the back page of this section has a index card from that electric company that I mentioned before. And I think they were using these electric, or I'm sorry, these index cards for keeping track of the equipment that they used um, at the company. And so I made this into a little pocket in the back there and there's a little piece of ephemera right there. A little note card that you can use with a tab on it. And then down here is a little coin envelope made with some more file folder there. And when you open that up, you can pull out another note card. And I just added a little tab to this one so that when you tucked it down in, the tab would be right there, making it easy for you to pull that in and out. And I added some more vintage labels on there and some more cutouts um, from some of the books that I have, which I love. All right, let's move on to the second section. Second section is just a series of pages that flip out. So we'll go through them. The first page here is just a small page I covered with some um, old dictionary that's falling apart. You can see it's kind of torn off and um, I kind of like the way that looks. And then I have a little library pocket here with a guest check in there. And I did cut out some more words from the thesaurus there. So this one has rabble and rabid on it. I thought that was appropriate. All right, and then when you flip this over, there's this nice big glassine um, pocket um, tuck spot here that I have, I just put um, a note card in. I think I got this one from the Graphics Fairy. And then you can kind of see through underneath, there's a vintage advertisements for bathing suits. So I'm gonna try and hold it up and see if you can see it, the two women there in their bathing suits. And I just think that's fun, kind of sneaking out at you. And our next page has a nice big um, note spot there, journal spot here. Um, this is just scrapbook paper and you could maybe use it a cal as a calendar. There's some um, numbers that come down the side here. Or once again, this would make a nice list because you have numbers there to number the things in your list if you wanted to do that. And then when you flip that up, there's just a, um, a book page on the back. So nothing, nothing to see there. And then over here, we have two little fold outs underneath. And this page on the back is another um, piece that came from that electric company um, where they were keeping um, journals and notes on things. So there's some dates on there um, and then information about what they were tracking. And I'm not even sure I would understand any of it if I read it. Um, and then in this envelope, there's a note card that's tucked right in there, of course. And then this is just a little um, paper bag. And both of these I attached with some washi tape. And then this little bag um, just has a little tag in there that once again, you could put a list on. And let's flip the next page. And this is a pretty simple page with some um, just pockets and tags. Um, but I did like the book page that this came with. Um, with the little illustrations on the side there, goat's beard and goat's rue. So it just has some neat information there about some plants. And those tuck right in there. And then our next page, um, there is, it's covered with an old German book page. And I just love the way the printing looks um, on that one. It's so intricate, um, just very elegant looking, but I also love the language. Um, and then I have a tuck spot right here where, of course, we have another note card there, a little butterfly note card. And this page actually has a fold out. So when you fold it out, you can pull out the note card in there. And this one, I believe, is a hotel invoice of some sort. And then more of that um, German writing with a map that I thought was pretty neat and some stickers. Gotta have stickers. And our next page in this section, when we do our last flip here, there's just two small um, pockets that have some of the thesaurus words on them. So corrected and quoted, I thought was fun. And then more note cards. 
And I think that you could probably even do lists around cor corrected and quoted. I think that would be fun. And I just put some sorry silk ribbon on the top here to um, give them tabs to pull out. And then the last page in this section has a um, three pocket tuck spot. And I just love the way Nick the Booksmith makes these. I think they look so cool. They look um, very vintage office-y. And since I love paper so much, this really appeals to me. Um, I added a quote from William Shakespeare out of a book that I have. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. So I thought that was very cool. And what did I add to this pocket? So I just have a little small um, iris note card there. I don't know. Are those irises or lilies? Irises, yes. I know my flowers. Not, not really. And then I found these two playing cards, which I thought were so much fun, the different illustrations there. They would be cute to uh, keep quotes on, or maybe even some little list of favorite games or something like that. And then these little um, cards are actually advertisements for Lion's Toilet Sulfur Borax Soap. So I thought that they were fun because of the pictures. Um, I don't know if you can see them here, the pictures of the of the children on them. They're just, they're kind of fun there. So those are cool. And they tuck nicely in here. And I kind of liked the one, two, three effect of um, tucking some little note cards and things in here. All right, so we are halfway through the lap book. So the next two sections here, actually, let me talk about the middle section first. The middle section um, here is just a piece of sari ribbon that you could use to tie in a notebook. So I don't have one, I don't have one made yet, but I was thinking about putting just like, um, you know, a fold open traveler's notebook in here. So you could just fold it in and then you tie it in to hold it in. And then you have another space to keep notes or lists or things like that. So that's coming, but it's not there yet. All right, so let's start on the next section. So this section is a whole big page of foldouts. So um, I just love the way that, you know, you can't really tell by looking at it, but then once you start getting into it, you realize it becomes this whole giant page of things. And you can actually even fold it different ways if you wanted to um, have something on the outside. So that's fun too. All right, so let's go through these sections. So our first section here is another big tuck spot here for a nice big note card that you could put some lists on. I have a quote here, poets are born, not paid. And then I have a little pocket down here, a double pocket made out of a book page with a little note card in there and a little bit taller one with a beautiful owl on there. And then I'm gonna think I'm gonna go this way first. So on this side, I have and a little pocket made of two um, mushroom book pages there. So you can, there's just a note card right in the top. I just sewed that together and then added that on with some washi tape as well so that it would flip nicely back and forth. And then this page is um, just a little notepad of some random papers. Nick made this in, in her lap book and I just love the way it looked. Another nice old office looking uh, feature, which once again appeals to me so much. All right, and let's go, that's it for this side. So now if we go the other way, so the other sides of those pages, we have a little pocket here that's um, a corner fold pocket. I believe I may learn to make these through Gail Agostinelli's um, YouTube channel. So I'll link her down below as well so you can look at that. And this one book page makes one, two, and then you can leave open the, the top or the side to make a third pocket. So these are really neat the way um, they just kind of overlap just a little bit, but you can have some note cards in there ready to go. And there's another little thesaurus saying there, quiet down. So sometimes I need to say that to myself. My mind gets going. And then this next section um, of, of the this section, the next page of the section here, I have, I took this off the back of a report and it says communications regarding reports should be addressed to the district engineer, U.S. Engineer Office, St. Paul, Minnesota. Sounds very official and that's why I liked it. I thought it was um, kind of amusing as well. And then this has a little latch that you can um, turn 
to you know keep the flap down or or to take it off and so when you flip that up there's just a nice two pocket um, pocket page here um, this is made out of some book pages as well and I've added some collaged note cards into them that were I had fun making them and then I also left open on the side a nice big pocket that you could slip something else into if you wanted to um, I didn't put anything in there as of yet and then um, I have some stamps here that I got from Ilopa online um, they're just beautiful so I cut those out and put those there and then I added um, a little metal piece and little metal embellishment here it says diary on there and I put my daughter's um, birth date on there so that I thought that was fun all right so we got that back up and our next page of this side is just a simple envelope on the page here with a note card in it and this is um, a note card that has um, information about penmanship on it and I thought that was fun I always enjoy pen penmanship and then this page was a book page that had some um, pretty paintings in it so I just wanted to leave that showing a little bit and then the last page in this section just has a really big double pocket on it um, and I love that, that you can keep some bigger pieces um, in here as well. So this is a note card actually actually from Vintage Mushroom Ephemera Kit that's in my Etsy shop. And then this pocket, look how big this pocket is. It's too big. I love that it keeps that in there. And this just has a fold out from a mushroom book that I have, which lets you know that these mushrooms are edible. So this is, you know, a nice reference to have in here when you're out in the field checking out mushrooms you can you know double check to make sure they're edible <laughs> before you eat them all right so that's the third section and then the last section of the lap book is this really cool um, accordion folder here um, that Nick taught us to make in her series and I just love that you know it has an, an additional three places to keep things um, I called it field notes here. I didn't add anything into this one yet. I thought this would be a nice place to keep any additional lists that you might be making or maybe even note cards from friends and uh, you know has a nice poison label there just to you know keep everybody out. So all right you guys that is the lap book. So I'm going to just close it back up here and I thank you so much for watching. Please go check out Nick and the other people that I mentioned in this video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I hope that you'll do so. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.